good morning students welcome in the programming for the problem solving the today we have starts our first unit introduction to computer and programming so is chapter mein kya kya cover hoga the first one is a, uh, what is introduction and the, what is the computers the second one is the basic block diagram and the function of various component of computer the third one is a concept of hardware and software the fourth one is a types of software the fifth one is a compiler and interpreter the next one is a concept of machine level and the next one is a assembly level and high level programming and the last one is a what is flowchart and algorithm so these are the points covered in the chapter 1 so now the let's start the what is computer the computer is a electronic device that receives input stores or processes the input as per user instruction and provides the output in the desired format and this is the input output model the computer input is called a data and the output obtained after processing it based on the user instructions is called a information row facts and figures which can be processed using the arithmetic and logical operations to obtain the information are called data okay so this is the simple workflow of computer now what is data the data means means the row of fact or row of material used as a input and what is informations the processes data into a meaningful form like arithmetic operator or logical operations now what is the arithmetic operations the processes and the processes that can be applied to a data are two types first one is arithmetic operations and the second one is logical operations so arithmetic operations mein kya aayega example includes calculation like addition subtractions differentiations squares root mathematical operations have wo kahan pe aayenge arithmetic operations pe aayenge and the next one is the logical operations the example in includes the comparison operations like greater than less than equal to equal to then opposite okay these are the logical operations now the our main heart uh, of the systems block diagram of the computer the mainly computer systems consist of three parts the first one is a central processing unit the second one is a input device and the third one is a output device the central processing is uh, unit is divided into a uh, two parts again the first one is a arithmetic unit and the second one is a control unit the set of instruction is in the form of row of data a large amount of data is stored in the computer memory with the help of primary and secondary memory secondary storage devices the cpus like the heart or brain of the computer the user does not get the desired output without the necessary options taken by the cpu okay the user does not get the desired output without the necessary options taken by the cpu the central processing unit is responsible for the processing all the instructions which are given by the user to the computer systems the data entered through input devices such as the keyboard mouse etc this set of instruction processed by the cpu after getting the input by the user and the, then the computer system produce the output the computer can show the output with the help of output devices to the user such as the monitor printer etc so now the next is a first a cpu okay the computer system is nothing without uh, the central processing unit It, so it's known as the brain or heart of the system the cpu is an electronic hardware devices which can perform a different type of operations such as the arithmetic and logical operations the cpu contains the two parts i already told the first one is arithmetic logical unit and the second one is a control unit now the first one is a control unit the control unit controls the all the activities or operations which are performed inside the computer system 
the control unit the controls all the activities or operations which are performed inside the computer systems it receives the instruction or information directly from the main memory of the computer when the control unit receives an instruction set or information it converts the instruction set to the control signals then the, these signals are sent to the central processor for the further processing the control unit understands which operations to execute accurately and in which order okay and the next one is the arithmetic logical unit it means the alu the arithmetic and logical unit is the combination of digital electronic circuit that can perform arithmetic operation on the in integer binary numbers it represents the arithmetic and logical operations the output of alu will change asynchronously in response in the input the basic arithmetic and bitwise logical functions are supported by alu and now the next is a storage unit the information the information or set of guidance guidelines are stored in the storage unit of the computer system the storage unit provides the space to store the data or instruction of processed data the information or data is saved or hold in computer memory or storage devices the storage device is the core function and fundamental of the computer components now the next point is the components of computer system yani components kitne hai hamare computer systems mein kitne components hai jo hame uh, go through karna hai the first one is a processor the second one is a main memory the third one is a secondary memory the next one is input device and the last one is output device so these are the components of the computer systems okay this is the simple image of the component systems here we have describes the uh, input devices keyboard and mouse is okay and the output devices monitors and then printers now component of computer system the hardware and software exist on the computer the information which is stored through the devices is known as a computer software the hardware component of the computer system are related to the electronic and mechanical parts and the software component is related to the data and computer programs many elements are connected to the main circuit board of the computer system is called a motherboard okay so this is the motherboard there are mainly five components of the computer systems the computer hardware computer software and and liveware exist in the element of the computer system the first one is a processor the processor is a electronic circuit within the computer system the central processing unit is a central processor or main processor of the computer system the processor carries out the instruction of the computer program with the help of basic arithmetic and logic logical operations and input output operations now second one is a main memory the main memory is a random access memory is the main memory of the computer system what is main memory main memory is a random access memory the main memory can store the operating system software application software and other information the ram is one of the fastest memory and it allows the data to be readable and writable okay now the second one is a secondary memory the first one main memory is a random access memory ram now the second one second one is a secondary memory we can store the data and programs on a long term basis in the secondary memory the hard disk and the optional disk are the commonly uh, secondary devices it is slow or cheap memory as compute a uh, computer compared to primary memory this memory is not uh, connected to the processor directly okay to so, ye directly processor se connect nahi hogi yahan pe kaun si cheez jayegi jo hamari hard disk hai pen drive hai okay the uh, wo sari hamari secondary memory aayegi optical disk hai wo sari it is a large capac capacity to store the data the hard disk has capacity of 500 gigabytes the data and programs on the hard disk are organized into a files and the file is the collection of the data on the disk the secondary storage is directly accessed by the cpu that's why the different from the primary storage the hard disk is a amount of 100 times capacity of the main memory the main difference between primary and secondary storage is a 
speed and capacity there are the several large blocks of data which are copied from hard disk into the main memory now the next is a input devices the user provides the set of instruction or information to the computer system with the help of input devices such as the keyboard mouse scanner etc the data representations of the computer system is in the form of binary language after that the processor processes the converted data the input use the input unit implements the data which is instructed by the user to the system we can enter the data from the outside world into the primary storage as the input through input devices the input devices are medium of the communication between the outside world and the computer system features of input devices the input devices receive or accept the data or instructions from to the user who exist in the outside world this devices convert the data or instruction into the machine or readable form for the further processing the input device perform likes the connection between the outside world and our computer system the keyboard and mouse are the most common example of the input devices when the full processor is finished we get the desired output from the output devices such as the monitor and printer and etc now the next is the output devices the output devices produce or generate the desired result according to the our input such as the printer monitor etc this device convert data into the human readable form from the binary code the computer system is linked or connected to the outside world with the help of output devices the primary example of output devices are printer projectors okay मॉनिटर्स तो ये सारे एग्जांपल है हमारे आउटपुट डिवाइसेस के नाउ फीचर्स कौन से है आउटपुट डिवाइसेस के दिस डिवाइस रिसीव्स एक्स और एक्सेप्ट द डेटा इन द बाइनरी फॉर्म द आउटपुट डिवाइस ऑन द कन्वर्टेड द बाइनरी कोड इनटू द ह्यूमन रीडेबल फॉर्म ओके क्योंकि जो हमारी कंप्यूटर सिस्टम है तो हम इनपुट डालेंगे तो वो कौन से फॉर्म में कन्वर्ट होगा मशीन लेवल मशीन लैंग्वेज में तो मशीन लैंग्वेज यानी हमारी जो बाइनरी फॉर्म है उसमें ओके बाइनरी क्या है वो सारी चीज़ें हम आगे देखेंगे ओके बट अभी क्या है जस्ट वी हैव गो थ्रू द इनपुट डिवाइसेस एंड द आउटपुट डिवाइसेस दिस डिवाइसेस प्रोड्यूस द कन्वर्टेड रिजल्ट एंड सो टू द यूजर ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द कंप्यूटर The first one is a speed. The second one is accuracy. The third one is a reliability. The fourth one is a versatility. The next one is a storage capacity, and the last one is a automation. Now we go through from the first, the speed. The computer can work very fast. It takes the some seconds to calculate the complex numerical problems. The normal human being is never able to com compare. With the speed of the computer system, the computer can perform a billion of instructions per second. We can measure the speed of the computer in terms of the microseconds or nanoseconds, so that so that we cannot imagine the processing speed of the computers. Okay, the speed rate of the computer depends on its the processor. Because the processor is our heart. So, the more processor our is good, the more speed our computer system will be more. the speed rate of the computer depends on its processor we can measure the speed of our computer processors in hertz and gigahertz okay the next one is the accuracy the accuracy level of the computer systems is very high the errors come in the computer due to the inaccurate human input the computer is a never creating a mistake it shows the error if the users gave the wrong data to the computer The computers do not get the tired or bored like us. They can do some same task repetitively with the same accuracy. Now the next one is the reliability. There are the various type of components that exist in the computer system, such as the motherboard, keyboard, mouse, etc. These components are very reliable and easy to use. 
the computer can execute billion of tasks in seconds the reliability is an attribute of the computer system if the program executed many number of times with the same set of data every time the result would be the same that is possible due to its reliability features okay the reliability is an attribute of the computer system it program execute many number of times with the same data set data of data every time the result would be same okay the result kya karega same hi dega that is possible due to the reliability the now the next is a versatility the versatility means means the performance of the computer when we are doing a different task at the same time the computer can do this task correctly we can say a human is confused by the doing a many task at the same time but we can do these things with the help of computer okay uh, the number of task hum sath mein parallelly perform karenge to to bhi wo exactly exactly hame answer dega to is form ko hum kya bolenge versatility the computer has high versatility for example when we prepare our payroll slips at the same we can make the electric bills it is not only used to calculate numeric value but but it can be also able to various fields like medical scientific experiments multimedia etc the now the next one is a storage capacity the computer has internal memory which is known as a primary memory we can store a wide amount of data in that memory we can also save the secondary storage devices such as the pen drive floppy disk hard disk compact disk etc okay the primary memory is called the ram the now the next and last one is the automations automation is the features of the computer systems it perform the task which is previously instructed by a human for example if we want to print some pages through a printer so we have to give instructions okay hum kya karenge hum instruction denge to wo task perform karega so we have to give instruction once to the computer to print the pages we do not need the instructions again and again the work will continue continue automatically okay so this is the automations so these are the these are the characteristics of the computers the speed accuracy reliability versatility storage capacity and the automations okay so aaj ke liye itna hi okay if any doubts in these sessions though, then we will conduct a, a doubt solving sessions uh, after 1 pm okay thank you